Hi! Today we're going to learn about how to do implicit differentiation with partial derivatives. Let's say we have a problem like this. Calculate dy dx of 5xy plus cosine of 3x is equal to 7e to the xy power. So with the normal way of implicit differentiation that we learned in Calc 1, this would require a lot of algebra after we do the calculus. But, now that we know partial derivatives, this is a simpler way of doing this. So before we answer the problem, let's first figure out how to do this. So what derivatives can we get from this equation? Well, we can get the partial derivative with respect to y, and the partial derivative with respect to x. So let's say the equation is the equation at, let's say the function is function f, then we can get df dx and df dy. So, now that we have these two partial derivatives, what can we do to them to get dy dx? And let's make those swirlies d's because the function is comprised of both x and y's. So, the thing that we can do is we can do df dx over df dy. And so what this would give us is df dx times dy over df. These two would cancel out, which would give us dy dx. So, now we know how to solve this. This is going to be dy dx is going to be equal to f, the partial of f with respect to x, over the partial of f with respect to y. So now that we know this, let's do that in this problem. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to move everything over to one side, because we don't want equation signs. We don't, have this, we don't want these equal signs in our partial derivatives. So if we move it over to our one side, we're going to get 5xy plus cosine of 3x minus 7e to the xy power equals 0. So if we get, if we look for fx, the partial of f with respect to x, we're going to get 5y plus 3, sorry, minus 3 sine of 3x minus 7y times e to the xy power. So that's the derivative with respect to x. Now if we put this now we have to put this over the derivative of f with respect to y, which should be 5x. Then here, there are no terms comprised of y in here, so there's no y in this term, which means it's plus 0. Minus 7x times e to the y, xy power. So, this gives us dy dx. So dy dx, from this problem, is equal to 5y minus 3 sine of 3x minus 7y times e to the xy power all over 5x minus 7x e to the xy power. So as you can see, this would have been a whole lot more of a whole lot more work if you're using the calculus one way of doing implicit differentiation. However, with partial derivatives, this is a lot faster. Today we learned about doing implicit differentiation with partial derivatives. Thank you for watching this video.